to Teacher Yoringa YouTube channel and today contents we want to talk about the admission of formers. From next week, uh, the 6th, uh, high school will be receiving the formers who sought their KCP last year and now they are set to join Form 1. The reason I'm shooting this uh, video, I just want to inform the students there, the new Form 1s, what they are expecting in high school and also parents, the, how they uh, handle them through the four-year journey. So for the students first, uh, actually now the curriculum will be brought. Now you'll be subjected to 11 subjects. I know in primary you are doing five subjects, but now in high school will be some schools can offer even 12, uh, depending on the range of subjects they offer, but it's a minimum of 11 subjects. So these subjects will have maths, then also have the compulsory languages, which are English and Kiswahili. And also we love the sciences. Now the sciences are being divided into three subjects. That will be physics, biology, and chemistry. Also we love humanities. Humanities now used to do social studies. Now it will be divided into geography and history. And also under humanities, we can include CRE. Also there are another field of subjects which are called technicals. Under technicals, there is agriculture, there is business studies, there is computer, there's some science, although some science is also science. And also some schools offer aviation, metal work, woodwork, all those falls under technicals. So you do these subjects in Form 1 and Form 2. Then in Form, at Form 2 towards the end, you're supposed to choose eight subjects. And the three compulsory will be maths, English, and Kiswahili. Then you need to have two sciences, minimum of two sciences. Then you can add either technical or you do the three sciences plus two technicals. So that's all you'll be doing. Uh, then another thing as also a new change will be way of answering questions. I know in primary you have been used to writing A, B, C, D, but in high school, high school this will change. Now you need to give the content which you have. You are supposed to explain uh, something. You don't just choose, a, you're not given multiple choices to choose one question. You are asked a question and you clarify and explain and also in mathematics now, we, you, you must answering all, only the answer. Also, the the procedure or the method to get answer will be considered. So you can get a mark even if your answer is wrong. You can get a mark. So now here you'll be more engaged. It's not about rote memory, but you have to know, understand the content which you are being taught. Uh, also now this is becoming a formative years. Because uh, now it's between 15 to 18 and mostly in uh, personal life, those are years we call formative years because that's the years which you are building your character. So in high school, you'll experience a lot of peer pressure, a lot of peer pressure from your student, from your peers. So one thing you need to have when you're going to high school, you need to be a principal person. You need to have your own goals and own your principles so that you don't become unwavered just by other people. And also you need to now know what kind of person you are. What values do you have? So, and also guard your values. Don't, uh, don't dilute the values or don't go down below your values. So you have to be somebody who is principled and has values and have self-discipline. That will assist you. You love friends. Friends will try to divert your way, tell you maybe this is Indokuam Janja as they say it. Uh, maybe go into drugs, start taking alcohol at a younger age. All those things you'll experience in high school. But if you're a principal person, you make a good decision. One way also will help you, assist you not to engage in those kind of activities like taking drugs. In high school, there's a lot of co-curricular co activities. Engage in those activities. If you're good in acting, be, uh, join the drama club. If you want to become a journalist, go, join a journalism club. If you want to become a lawyer, join a debate club. If you are good in sports, go join football club, join athletics. You know, when you engage yourself in those activities, after learning, you'll be going for those activities. Then afterwards, you'll be so you'll be so tired that even you won't have time to do the things which are not building up. So and do engage yourself in co-curricular activities that will assist you also to understand yourself. You'll be able to know their talents which you have and the activities which you are good at. Uh, also create a, a, a study a study program. Start early in Form 1. The four years may, might look uh, long, but usually they, you, you, never, you won't uh, notice. 
the four years are just getting finished or the four years you've clearing the four years within a short period of time so create a study program which immediately you join form one create a good study program and because in your case you see you'll be tested from what you have covered from form one until form four and that study program be disciplined on it and follow it to because uh, something which you have come up with follow it and also be somebody who is reading constant consistently uh be also be working with your teachers whenever you don't understand anything go to the teacher teachers are always friendly there and their work is just to assist you so that you can come out in high school that great which will take you to campus and you build your future from there and also you can become an entrepreneur it's not only you be, or, or be, join a football club as the best football player uh that's all for the students i think you keep that uh, that in mind as you're joining we are a form one uh to the parents also uh, what i can talk to the parents as now the your child he or she is becoming a grown up so what i think you can do to assist him or her at least create a monitored freedom what do you mean by monitor freedom allow the student allow the child to make his or her own decisions but also you monitor how is uh, making the decision are the decision which are helping him or breaking him but allow him allow the decision to come from him like uh, when they're choosing the subjects let the student choose the subjects which he or she thinks is good at don't force a student to choose the subjects because you did them or you think they were easy for you so you automatically you think the subject will be easy also uh, another thing you allow him or uh, to come up with the study timetable and also be or be checking is he following the and he check if he's following the timetable but allow him or her to create the study timetable and be reporting to you on the progress he's making on that also progress also always be asking uh or her how is report form because at the end of the term report form then you create a meeting you discuss why why is this performing subject what is it do happening why is he always have that kind of meeting because it will build their bond you'll become and can he or she thing his best best is a best friend don't let uh, the child to confide these weaknesses or the his experience to other people You're supposed to be the person to he should confide the challenges is also uh also be uh anything when the need supposed to pay for school fees just pay the school fees and if there's challenges explain to him or her why it can't be done at this moment is a grown up he'll be able to understand and if you talk clearly or well or you open with him or her he'll be able to understand if they need to go for a educational trip if the money is there to just sponsor him or her it's an investment for his future in the cases of and the money put that as the priority and also the uh, relationship between you and the child and also another thing treating the consistently or oftenly because that one will have to know the if it's in a boarding of it will actually give you back on what is happening don't just meet your son or daughter during mid term or during visiting days be visiting the any time you have uh, you are free you can visit the school just randomly talk to the subject teachers they tell you how he or she is performing that will make him to be up to be on the lookout because you know now my parents are always here so she won't be doing cheeky cheeky things be get involved with the, your, your child just don't leave the child to the teachers be involved uh, know how his academic progress is going on and the child will have a swift four years in high school and you will be able to perform well i hope this uh, information has really assisted you the parents out there and the children who are set to join from one and i'm hoping you'll have a good four years time in high school and please subscribe to teacher youtube channel for more content thank you